I always do the welcome and the thank you speech, not because uh, I like to talk, which I do, <laughs> but because I, I really genuinely think that is my duty to do that. Uh, to welcome each one of you has always been a pleasure, but to thank you, I think, has been the bigger responsibility that I have. And uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank Father Dominic. I see he's not here. Oh, yeah, there he is. There. Okay. So Father Dominic, may you please stand and take a standing bow for us. So, for saying yes and for allowing us to do and literally take over this institute for two days. And, you know, when we were discussing and I told him, I will take every inch of space that you give me. He said, like, which classroom do you want? Which one do you want? What do you want? I said, Father, I need every inch of space that you can give me. And honestly, when he said yes, I, it was unbelievable. He actually gave us the entire, and not just one, but the second building too, finally, because it was raining and we had no other option in terms of uh, using space. And he's like, don't worry, we, will, we are there to support you. So thank you very much. Uh, next, I would like to acknowledge the guys who did a good job. Please take a standing bow. <laughs> so can I have all the students who say in fall stand, please? Thank you. I had many, many people come and tell me, wow, your volunteers were so nice, you know. So I went and told my team, the nice is all good, but are they doing work? <laughs> so they said, no, no, they're really doing work. So thank you so much, because without that, you know, a lot of our work is not possible, yeah. Uh, next, I would like to thank is my core committee and the experts. Uh, Vikas didn't say this, but he's because you said not three years, but uh, Vikas and Naresh and a few more also have been with us literally from the first year and have not stopped. So it is absolutely, believe me, without them, this would not be possible. So I would like to ask all the uh, experts and co-committee members to please stand up and take a bow. <laughs> Whoever are here. Yeah, you are part of it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. And Last but not the least, I want my team, without whom I would not exist. It's as simple as that. Please stand. I don't know, team. Team, I don't know. Come on. Thank you. As Naresh said, these are the people who have actually really made my dream, my, my vision come through. And it's really not possible for one person to do this alone. You can just have a vision. But if you can't you know, really implement it, then that's all it remains, right? A dream. And so I thank one of each and every one of you for this making this happen. Um, I would also be remiss if I did not uh, thank all our different partners who have also been part of this journey. Uh, some of whom have been right with us, again, right from the beginning. And, uh, you know, that's the amazing thing, right? That if people stick with you, I mean, that there must be something we are doing right if that is happening. So uh, especially partners like Glenmark, um, Ambuja Cement Foundation, and um, the Bombay Stock Exchange have been partners with us almost right from the beginning. And, and I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Because if we didn't have even that support, I don't know how we would do it, yeah? Uh, for the very simple reason, uh, you know, RISE doesn't work on a, as a typical event, as you all have heard already, right? So it also doesn't work on sponsorships, you know? We work on a very different model, and, and that model means that unless somebody's committed to work with us long term on projects, on other kind of work, how would we actually make this happen? So very often, we don't even know if we can actually make it happen, but God's great, and we always uh, finally manage to do that. So partners like them, of course, very important. Our country partner, Sweden, I mean, it definitely adds, because for us, the world is is the playing ground. It is not just about, I, you know, I always say, you first start with saying, I'm from this country, you're that country. Then you'll say, I'm from the north part and I'm south part. And then you'll start saying, I'm from this state and that state, and then this district. And it doesn't stop, right? Because we always have those boundaries that we put. So for me, uh, to kind of create a sense of that we are all global citizens and human beings first is really important. And therefore, having a country partner becomes very important. It's not so much about else. So Sweden has been a great country partner. 
and we are really happy to have them on board. We also had the UN Global Compact. Uh, I think the SDGs are so critical and so important right now. I mean, everybody has a role to play in achieving them. I mean, we did not, we could not, you know, achieve the MDGs. And I, and I sincerely hope that this is not going to happen again with the SDGs. So I think all of us have a responsibility and all of us have a role to play in achieving them. So highlighting that was very important for us at RISE this year, and we will continue to do so. So having UN Global Compact as our partner was, again, as I said, very important. Uh, as Naresh mentioned, there's a tour to Pune tomorrow, and our partners, the Swedish Institute, uh, Sandvik, and Thermax are our partners for that event. And uh, it's, again, a great addition as, uh, you know, you said, Ravi, uh, we try every year to do something new. So this year, a social tour was added to the whole program to make sure that we could. And unfortunately, because that was a closed program, we tried to make sure that we had another open program. So anybody else who was not part of the Swedish Institute program could also take part in a tour, which is why we had the WWH Tribal Village Lunch that has been organized at RA on uh, Saturday. And I hope more of you are going to participate over there. Uh, we have also had uh, our other partners who have, have contributed in multiple ways, and one of the biggest thing has been Green TV. It is a CSR channel that focuses on farmers and other issues, social issues, and they have been just brilliant. They have been covering our work continuously, taking everybody's feedback, uh, you know, sound bites, etc. And I think they've done a simply amazing job. So thank you, Green TV. I really, really do appreciate the work you've done. We also have a technology partner. For the first time, we've actually been able to have the time and bandwidth to put up a website decently. Otherwise, we would always be so stretched that, you know, that was the last thing that would come to our mind. We tell others, it's like every good doctor, you give medicine, but you never take medicine yourself. We tell others, you know, create awareness, but we would never be able to create awareness about our own work. So yeah, so this time we, we have our technology partner, Coens, and unfortunately Himanshu is not here, but uh, a great job and thank you very much, yeah. Uh, Canon has been our print partner and uh, they'll be helping us with a lot of the print stuff that we are going to do. And last but not the least, I want to thank each and every program partner. There are too many, so I'm not going to get into each individual one, just as I could not take each co-partner, co-committee member or individual team member name. I can't take the program partner names individually, but I would definitely want to tell you that please believe me, without you, this would not be possible. And to end it all, I would like to thank each one of you who stayed back because, you know, like our whole concept is to focus on the round tables and the workshops and the chat tables. So the inauguration and the ending uh, is always something that only, I think, hardcore fans of, of uh, RISE really wind up uh, staying or coming for. So I thank you for the bottom of my heart for being here this evening for us to close RISE, but not just to end because this is just the beginning for the next year and I will see you again next year. Thank you so very much.